like FedEx made a wrong turn. I'm looking for Mr. Heron. Package for Mr. Heron. Hmm. Good morning, it's the uh, 21st of November, 2019, and uh, I am at Radnor Lake State Park. Forecast is for it to be overcast all day, with rain moving in tonight, and probably gonna wash out tomorrow, which is Friday. With the uh, forecast overcast skies, maybe a drizzle of rain, which I'm feeling a little bit right now, any remaining Fall foliage should be on display at its best. Here at Radnor Lake State Park, you're, you're kind of limited in your ability to pursue certain photographs because Visitors are restricted to paths. Don't get off the path, don't walk over there. If you get off the path, you're subject to punitive fines, as well as apparently, from what I've been told, haven't had this experience personally, but I've been told that the court costs can be fairly draconian. So we stay on the path. It's nice, especially on a day like today, when I don't have any specific intent photographically to sit and just soak it up, think about what's going on around me, try to become inspired, see if anything comes to my eye. Good to slow down. Very good to slow down. Good morning, sir. Hello. Good, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody having a big time this morning? <laughs> well, I guess it would be considered a muted palette this morning. I do see some blue in the sky behind me, but it's fixing to sock in. It's not going to last long. Fine with me if it stays overcast. See some possibilities, but I won't know till I investigate a little further. But the colors that are here are beautiful. They're just not what you might call vivid. Short ways across this body of water here, this part of the lake, there are some white trunk trees. I don't know what they are. Um, they're they're interspersed amongst some fall color, which is best described, I guess, is a delicate muted palette. Even though there's really no foreground interest as such. So let's see what we can come up with. Using the 120 lens on the medium format camera, that's equivalent to about an, I guess an 85 or so, which as long as it gets with this particular camera. I'm thinking 
that about head level here is where I'm going to want to position the height of the camera. If I shoot vertically from here, I have a bow that has fallen, partially fallen on, over in the lake and there's some uh, leaves on it that are have turned and are dying, but it may provide some foreground interest. I'm going to shoot that and I've got a horizontal composition just a few feet further down where I've got a bow coming in from the right side of the frame, which will introduce some foreground interest as well. But it's looking pretty cool. We'll see. to have some mist and fog through here today to separate some of these closer trees from the background. I was fortunate to catch the sun out, but somewhat diffuse. And I set up on the trail here and got a picture of this fence row with the highlight across the top rail. Phone's ringing, wonder who it is, let's see. So I caught this photograph with a diffused sun on the top rail of the fence. And I was also lucky to catch a uh, photograph down on the main path by the water of a tree with most of its leaves, even though they'd turned. And uh, I think I got, uh, was able to get a picture with it. Thanks for being with me today. I had a big time, hope you did too. If you like what you see, thumbs up. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. If you're afraid you're gonna miss something, why not go ahead and subscribe and click that bell icon. That way you're notified when I've been up to something. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hmm. Mr. Mallard. Is there Mr. Mallard here? John, John Deere. Package for John Deere.